What's going on you guys? It's your Huggable Hipster here and welcome to my review of two Logitech mouses that I got to test out. No, this video is not sponsored in any way, shape or form by Logitech. If you want to hit me up, we can talk about it. I'm going to be going over the G305 mouse, which is my main one that I'm currently working with as of right now. And we're also going to be going over the Ergo M575, which this is the one that I have some thoughts on it. So yeah, let's go over the G305 first because I there is a lot of things I have to say on both of them but primarily what I try to do whenever I'm working with new tech or things that I incorporate basically into my everyday working life I try to see okay how is it on the first month of work how do I work with it with graphic design how well does it work with editing all that kind of stuff how well does it work with it with gaming because to be honest I'm mostly a PC gamer PS5 being secondary, Xbox being third. Sorry, you guys. And this mouse, it's very lightweight. It really just fits into the curvature of my hand. I have long fingers. So whenever I look at a mouse, I try to see what's going to fit my grasp the best. Because when it comes to this mouse, or this Logitech mouse, it's also very comfortable. It fits very nicely. So yeah, when it comes to the G305, here are some of the specs on it. Light speed is high performance wireless technology that delivers a strong ultra low latency connection. Hero's sensor delivers amazing tracking performance with up to 12,000 DPI and 10 times power efficiency. Lasts for 250 hours of gaming with a single double uh, A battery. Excuse me. So you can play game after game. Uh, without having to worry about your battery dying. So this is a plus for me. The battery life has always been an issue for me whenever I've worked with wireless mouses. I've worked with this mouse so far for a month, basically it's been a month because before when I was working with the Razer wireless mouse, that had to be one of the worst experiences I had with a Razer mouse. Don't get me wrong. I love the peripherals that Razer comes out with. They're really, really good. But some of, I don't know, just some of the mouses, they don't hold up the way I expect them to. Uh, the wireless mouse that I got from Razer, it was only, I think, maybe less than a year that I had it before the, like the tracking on it. It started to go all wonky. I had to keep replacing batteries. The, um, the the connection to it the like the wireless connection was not sturdy at all whatsoever by the end of it the most recent mouse that i was working with is also a razor and it was the one that i've had the longest and it was the wired one but by the end of it this plastic thing over here kept just falling off there was no grip on it anymore while i love the way that it's built and designed and the grip on it is I love the grip on it. The way that it's just manufactured is wonderful. But the only thing that I hated by the end of it was things on it just kept falling apart. And it just kept, I don't know, it was not functioning the way it did whenever I first got it. But while I had it, it was a good mouse. I do have to say though, the Logitech mouse that I'm using currently is way better than both of those Razer mouses combined. So let us dive into the other Logitech mouse, which is the Ergo M575. This one looks like this out of the package. And when I was starting to use this one, primarily I wanted to experiment around with it for the purposes of graphic design, because as a lot of you guys know, I take on video editing clients and I take on graphic design clients mo primarily, mostly for thumbnails, because a lot of people, they don't want to sit there. They don't want to do a thumbnail for like 30 minutes to an hour to get everything perfect. So I'm the one that comes in and does all the erasing and all of the stuff. So you don't have to. <laughs> so when it comes to this, it has like a little, little ball thing that you can just, you know, okay, there we go. It's a little ball thing over here that you can take out, clean, all that kind of stuff. I like that. Um, I was explaining before with the tracking on this because it is a stationary mouse. You don't have to move it. You just have to move as the mouse and click and point, all that kind of stuff. Pretty self-explanatory, right? When I started to do graphic design work with this mouse, it was more of a hassle than I have ever experienced with any mouse. It would go all over the place. I would change settings on different, like on the DPI and everything like that. It was just, it, it didn't work the way I wanted it to. I couldn't get a close up clean erasure when I would be working in Pick Monkey, and it would just drive me bonkers at the most. Cause I tried to give it a chance. I tried to be like, no, this is a new mouse. You need to review it. You need to like really get into it. I just could not get behind this. My dad is a really big fan of this so i'm going to be giving this mouse to my dad um but yeah i mean like the thing is is that it's very sensitive too like especially when you're gaming this mouse is incredibly sensitive so when you go and you like change different settings of the game and everything like that to fit what the mouse is 
it's still incredibly sensitive because this is going this is going all over the place when you have control over the mouse and you can move it whichever way you want to i feel like that for me is more ideal than having for lack of a better term a loosey-goosey kind of thing over here where you don't know what's going to happen even though i changed the dpi settings on it i still don't know how it's going to go but one thing, a couple of things actually I can say that are in benefit to this mouse, they have wide clickers. I love the wide clickers on this and I just, it, that really makes me happy. And it has different slants over here. You guys probably can't see it right now. Let me try to go a little bit close up with the camera. Divots almost, I think you guys can like just barely make it out. It's great for having like that sturdy grab on so you don't have to like really have any issues grabbing onto the to the mouse itself i love that i love that it has textured grips over there that's really beneficial so for someone out there someone out there it is going to be beneficial to use this kind of a mouse for me doesn't quite click with me no pun intended but you guys that was my review of both the Ergo M575 uh, and the G305. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like my face and what I do, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell down below. I make videos every day here on YouTube. May you find your worth in the waking world, dear hunter. Stay casually nerdy, and I will see you all in the next video. Also, if you guys want to check out these mouses, they will be down below in the description box. So if you guys want to purchase them or anything like that, whatever you guys fancy, you guys can check it out down below. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.